Well, it's time to play Thousand Year Door. I've never played this before. I've been looking forward to this. It was a remake that I was definitely excited about when I first saw it. So. Here it is in all its glory. I've heard really good things about this game. It's a lot of people's favorite Paper Mario entry, if not favorite game, so. I probably should have listened to the intro theme of it. It's okay. Ahem. Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange something something, it was a town where all people lived. And it was said that the town was very prosperous. So I was checking my audio levels. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck the town and its people. Darkness filled the skies, and the earth rocked and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. But in a single night, the town sank to the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town's site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon spread among the people who moved in. That an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed. This is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. Oh wow. Finally, I have a minute without Toadworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very, um, pink flavor. Oh, Missy. Missy. Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box has a magic lock on it, and it will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't as so much as budge if someone such as me touches it. Ooh. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever is inside. <laughs> Go on, hold it. I suppose I could try opening it. This looks great. Mail call! Hey bro, check it out. It's a letter from Princess Peach. Arrive for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem. Now let's see here.
<laughs> Hello there, Mario. I am now on holiday traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come. All right. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Check it out. The detail's pretty cool so far. Hey, chat member. Sorry, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but hey. Hey, rogues, welcome. All right. Excuse me, sir. Please wake up, sir. The town you've been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. <laughs> I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by Rothboard, though. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? I did tell you all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? <laughs> What's that? I'm sorry. You say there's a princess waiting here for you? <laughs> Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But uh, you be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have we a bit of advice on me? Hit that save block to save our tutorial. <laughs> what do you want, pal? Huh? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I'd remember a princess, probably. <laughs> Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, your money? Or is she your girlfriend? Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, you freak! Oh, come off it. I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the Crystal Stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good little student and tell us what you know right now! Never. I don't have anything to say to you creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you met with an untimely demise. Bah, bah, bah. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. No, stop right there, you weirdos. I'll scream, really. Like I'd go... Anywhere with smelly losers like you. Hmm. Not likely. <laughs> what do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you a little taste of the old crump -a bomb
Okay. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak out of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Yes, you're doing awesome. Don't you let up. I'm just glad there is no gimmicks here. Because, you know, the last game, Origami King, whilst it was fun, man, the whole roulette thing. You've got him on the ropes. Come on. Keep wailing on him. You did it, you did it, yes! And you got star points. That's what these little things are, star points. The star points you get will show up there. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't you forget that, okay? Oh, yeah. bah, bah, bah. <laughs> okay, you got a couple of decent shots in, I'll give you that. But unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Punish him! Holy crap. Quick, this way! Oh, he's fine. What a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here. What do you say? <laughs> okay, I love how they're not paying attention. But, huh? Stop! Where'd they go? Huh? You! Johnson! Did you see them? Did anyone? Ugh, crud! They bolted! Wow, mister, you totally saved me, thanks! I have just got to give you a little reward. A kiss? My name's Goombella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet ya. So, uh, who are you? Oh, yes. Mario? Wait, you mean, like, that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? What is going on there? Me, I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. What were those dudes doing in the background? I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh! I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Well, 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 bucko. What do you got there? Oh my gosh, is... Is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? <laughs> Great Hoogly Boogly, if it isn't Master Mario. <laughs> Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place. <laughs> but tell me, Master Mario, what's in the world brings you to this wretched little bug? <laughs> oh, ma, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map. And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport. It's intriguing. Oh, yeah. You're asking me where Princess Peach is, hmm? Uh, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship. Don't you know? I only took my eye off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. 
You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Surely we'll find her. Surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP running low. Just drop on in. <laughs> yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Huff, I say. Uh, Princess Peach, did he mean, like, Peach, the Mushroom Kingdom princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser the Koopa King, the one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is wild. Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Wow, this is really intense. Well, where could she have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Ooh, ooh, uh, hi no, Mario. Come with me. One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great. We're all good then. Let's go, Mario. What? Goombella's abilities are primer. When you approach people or objects, you may see an icon appear over Goombella's head. When that happens, you can press X to learn more about that person or object. That's Goompa the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled or mugged. Press X to get information about nearby people, objects, or places. This is Rogueport Square. It's the center of town and the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Sometimes you learn about interesting tidbits. Try using her ability whenever you can. Of course, Kimbella can be quite helpful in battle too. She can jump to attack with a head bonk, or look up enemy HP and weaknesses with her tattle ability. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I um, don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. Uh, before I mention it, uh, before I forget to mention it, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, press ZL. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. I'm looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wall up for me. He must be easy to con, which isn't to say that we should con him, of course. <laughs> no, of course not. You smell that? This smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeed. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that that's any of your business. That guy's mouse a He sniffs out propositions that might make him loot. With his nose for opportunity, he could really do well in the straight business world. But I guess no one in Rogueport is really cut out for the suit and tie life. Turf war between the Pianta Syndicate and the Robo Robos? Heating up, apparently. Best stay indoors. Freeze! You two, not another step. Don't come this way. Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens. I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move. You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch. Not an inch! You hear? 
gonna sip my tea. This is a joke. I won't move. I shall be patient. Losing a contact lens is not a great thing. I, I know what's going to happen. The moment I step, it's going to cr crush it. And they're going to get angry. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> ah, idiot, you stepped on it, my poor contact lens. I told you not to move. Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're going to pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Fine. If that's your plan, then here's mine. You oath. I'm going to block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. <laughs> hey, Nikto, how's it going? Look at the detail. I can't climb the barrels. That's a lazy Dugan. He hunts shady jobs that he expects to pay well. I bet, he, I, I bet he's never done an honest day's work in his life. What a piece of work. <laughs> Professor Frankly, actually, I think a guy by that name lives on over on the east side. <laughs> Just go east from here as you enter town from the harbor. Just hang a right. So, uh, what about him? Did this guy steal something important from you, or what? How can you tell what you can and can't interact with? Trial and error. I mean, with people, it's just... It pops up. Oops, pardon me, sucker. Hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Guy bumps into you and runs off just like that? Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. Oh, hey, you big old rib. It ain't smart talking to people like you. You don't know. You never know when a guy might go wild and attack. Be careful. Live longer. That's Goomfree the Goomba. He looks kind of shady, I guess, but he's cool. People call him a fixer, you know, a guy that can make any problems go away. It's not a good thing. Why is she following me? Because we rescued her and she's looking for the same thing we are. Oh, okay. Welcome to the home of Mel and the Super Magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish with three shine sprites. I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I can boost their attack power, but I can also throw in the move for free. Oh, I don't have anything. Yeah, she was about to get abducted and then we stepped in. But now we're friends. Oh, hi. There you are, Professor Frankly. Uh, who's that? Who wants me? Uh, yes, I don't uh, know. You! Uh, wait for it. This is just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence! I'll get right it. I'll get it right. Um, uh, it's not Goombriel. Uh, it's, it's not uh, Liza Goom. Uh, mm. uh, I've got it! You're Goombella, aren't you? You're in my class. Well, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at U Goom. Go, Goombas! 
Of course I remember you, not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you are such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is, uh... Hey! Mario, Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We're hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew about it, it would be you, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? <laughs> Archaeologists and historians have to search for the truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate you with however I can. First of all, we should try... Wait, we should start by addressing just what the legendary treasure is. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while still others claim it's an empty chest. So many different theories, obviously it's impossible to divine the truth among them. But all agree on one point, to find the treasure one must have the Crystal Stars. The Crystal Stars? To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand-year door. That's how the old saying goes, and with a rhyme that solid, it must be true. Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must first collect the seven crystal stars. Oh hey, I researched some of the written lore behind the treasure, and it kind of matches that old saying. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand-year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday. Is that referring to some... the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be. And we're in luck, it seems a thousand-year-old door is located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet, the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map. But we do have a professor. Oh, well... Not we, exactly. Mario has the magical map. What? Really? You, you actually have it? Could I... Could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Astounding. This is it. This is the real thing. The one and only magical map. You, son, are my hero. You're great. Fantastic. Wonderful, even. With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up in front of the thousand-year door. Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here? Then, Gumbella Mario. Let's take the magical map to the thousand-year door. Off we go. This instant, I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. I mean, with these kind of games, just messing around with the environment. I don't know, I do it. Because sometimes you find secrets. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? Haha. <laughs> we can use this pipe to get down under the city streets. Come on, both of you, let's get moving. Is... Oh, wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so uh, keep your guard up. Nope. Really? Master, are you? Maybe you ought to just practice them just... Wow, are you sure? No, I'm good. Bold young lad, aren't you? A quick refresher. <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell you anyway. Regardless of the choice you had to make twice. When your partner attacks, match what's shown on the screen. Ooh. 
See, like a crack in the wall probably can break it eventually. This is why we explore. Ah, welcome, Mario. I am Maluv, Malovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing abilities that what you seek is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Haha. So, I shall so, uh, no, I'm good. I just got here. Ah, is that so? Well, if there is ever anything you want to find, just ask. We'll, we'll be back here later, potentially. I mean, I do see the cracks, but I assume I can't do anything yet. Hey! Hey, man, what's up? You think it's just cool to waltz your way into our underground? Typical, you surface level snobs are stuck up. Ooh, I get to see the sun. I like to breathe breathe clean air. Ooh. Hey, yeah. Come over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Can't to academics and a world famous hero wander the sewers of a port town in peace. If this is your usual greeting to visitors, then you must have learned it down here, cause it stinks. Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for a fight? If you ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of the saw. Nobody doesn't start a fight with us. Nobody. Let's get him. A Goomba, a spiky Goomba, and a Paragoomba. The whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is the fellow in the middle, the spiky Goomba. See that spike on his head? Well, jump on that, and you're the one who'll take damage. The power Goomba's airboard, so your hammer won't reach. You'll have to jump for him. You get what I'm saying? Study your opponent before you choose in the attack method. And be ready for those tricky action commands while attacking and blocking. Now go get them. Oh, that's right. I forgot to tell you something vital. You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Goombella. Don't forget it. I'll just be over here watching the two of you do your thing from a safe distance. But good luck! But you can't change target? I guess not. Hammer! That's a spiky Goomba, spiky head Goomba. What a creative name. Guess that spike helps boost its attack compared to the average Goomba. In addition, the spike means you'll hurt your feet if you dump on it. Duh, duh. So happy it's not a gimmick. <laughs> it's just basic combat. Owie! Ha! Later, losers. That felt awesome. Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more where that came from. 
And they'll have it all, they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while in the field. Attack successfully and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump them as soon as you get into battle. Is this the way out? No, this is a different pipe. Hammer! So when something's identified, it stays identified. That's useful. Yeah, I should probably, um... The CY is pretty nice. We're down the low road port. I think it's just your basic garden variety corridor. This must have been a nice walk when the whole town was above ground. <laughs> I don't know. I just found that funny. That's a Goomba. Uh, yeah, ha, uh, I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. Um, it says Goombas are underlings of underlings. No sound out features to note. That's totally rude. Oh, I kind of get the underling thing now. <laughs> okay, I mean, I, I like the lore. Got flavor to it. trying to pull into water as paper. Probably not a good idea. That's a spinner, a totally weird creature made out of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. Nobody knows much about these creatures, actually. Its attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a yeah.
Okay. Sentient. He knew the area on the rug port extended so far. This place is a total maze. You really feel the grandness of that ancient civilization when you're down here. This is a big yellow block. It looks totally too sturdy to break with your current hammer. But if you find a more powerful hammer, then look out block. That's still... A strange black key. Okay. You! Can you hear me? You can! That must mean you're the hero of legend. Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else, nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, uh, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? Uh, Mario, a word with you. I'm not exactly confident we can trust this chest. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Oh, drat. I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh, uh, yeah, uh, searching for the crystal stars are you now? So, you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if... You hope to get those bad boys. So, first you should look for the key to this chest, then use it to let me out. Definitely. Not sure how this chest guy would know anything about the crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. Come on, being stuck in a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Well, what? You've already found the key? Oh man, I owe you big. Yes. Thank. Ha. Thank nothing. We fools. Oh boy, did you fall for it? I burned you. What do you think I was gonna do? Help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little bit of suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the breaks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse upon you. Bugly Wuggly Woo, you're cursed. Wee <laughs> enjoy that curse, sucker. You got what you deserved. You wanna hear all about the sweet curse I just dropped? Well, listen. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. Wee, tem trembling yet? Suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. Wee, oh, I can't help but chortle, you're doomed. 
This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah. Okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y and then BAM! You're a paper airplane. You'll control your tiny paper plane self by tilting the L stick forward and back. The plane will rise if you tilt in direction behind you. However, if you tilt too much, you'll slow down and start to fall back to the ground. Once you start to rise, stop tilting. Timing is key. Try it now and suffer the total aerodynamic humiliation. <laughs> when you've had enough airplane shame, press B to deplane and get back to normal. So, be honest. You fully understand the peril this curse has bestowed upon you. Yeah, I get it. Farewell, you foolish fool. <laughs> So, uh, wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? So this is the thing that uh, I talked about like a while back. A friend of mine, when they saw the trailer to this, they pointed out that, you know, this is probably going to be one of the games that is cross-compatible with the new Nintendo console that's going to come out. And the thing they noticed is, like, the button inputs. They match what the Super Nintendo used to be. Or at least the Super Famicom. For Americans, it's different, but, like, they haven't done that with any game, so it's a bit suspicious. They did not do it right. Yeah, I know! I pressed the wrong button! Um... There's already... leaks that show that, um... This game has a 4K mode hidden. Well, not hidden, but you know, not enabled. So, almost anything but confirms the existence of the new console and it being 4K capable. Oh, Mario Gumbella, look at that! Is that the thousand year door? I can't believe it's real. So, the legends are all true. Come, let us move closer. I gotta finish my tea before it gets cold. Okay. Professor, what's going on? They have this map on uh, the inside of the box art. Looks pretty nice. The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Mario has learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. Sweet Treat. Professor, the map, and what was with all those strange lights? Hmm. 
This looks like information related to the location of a crystal star. And that shining light, it looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study that map closely. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not Luigi. Luigi does the better, oh, yeah. Ah, aha. I see. You understand it, Professor? Of course I do. And I shall explain. The first thing to know is... This map is truly outstanding! Astounding. She's outstanding. I can't read today. I'm tired. Somehow this map contains radar-like functions. It's showing us the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, the area is a vast meadow that lies far to the east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or, or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, You'd get there instantly. Pipe travel is efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. How'd you get that map anyway? From Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach, this wouldn't be her, would it? So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. <sighs> but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. Alright, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach indeed went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'll stay in town and ask around about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled old Goomba like me could handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Oh, he's following me. I thought he was going to say something. Ah, Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on you. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform a move, what is known as a special move. A special move? Yes, uh, well... Stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try out another tutorial? And if you say no, I'm gonna ask you again. And if you say no again, I'm still gonna describe it. So you may as well say sure thing. Excellent, in that case, let's give your special move a little test run. Let's take a look at your star power gauge. You'll see that your gauge has one power dot. Obviously, that's a single unit of power. So you're sitting on a single dot of power with me so far. When you have star power available, you may use a special move. Try using Sweet Treat now. It's a special move that will replenish your HP and FP. Repeatedly tilt left to shoot hearts and flowers. Oh no. Wait. Oh, like that, I see. Oh, 
I did it wrong. Okay, I got it. Why do they call it Sweet Treat, though? <laughs> Since you used one power dot, the star power gauge is now empty. <laughs> Even if the gauge empties out, though, you can still charge it up again. That's why an audience watching your battles are so very important. <laughs> if you can get the audience excited, you'll build up more star power. Let me show you what I mean, Mario. Gimbella, try to attack me, please. The toads want blood. <laughs> nice, see that? You thrilled your audience, so they filled up some of your gauge. <laughs> nice, keep building that star power. Also, the more exciting your battles are, the more people will come to watch you fight. As you can see, that's reflected in the number of audience members in this audience. You know, one day Nintendo will get to the point where this will be Twitch chat, you know? One day. Still with me, the more people in your audience, the more star power you can get. You can also use appeal to get star power. I hope you memorize this. Well, that's all I've got. Here's my... Here ends my scintillating lecture on special moves. Fine work, Mario. <laughs> Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. <laughs> it's called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, You'll get much more powerful. <laughs> What's important is knowing what the effects will be when you equip a badge. <laughs> Would you like to practice equipping and removing badges? <laughs> There's a lot of tutorial. Equipping badges required badge points. Yeah. By the way, you'll need flower points to use the power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but your FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you'll find that pipe to petal metals. I'm going to go save. In case something goes wrong and I don't have to sit through all that again. I think this game is previewing whatever the new controller is going to be, because even the analog sticks look different to what the Joy-Con sticks currently are. So I think whatever the new Joy-Cons are, they're going to have better analog sticks, which I'm all for. Because I don't like the Joy-Cons. <laughs> Seriously, I, ha I don't think I've used them in maybe... Multiple years. Hey there, kid. You got a minute to learn what it means to fight? Like, fight with your whole heart? I can see you brimming with potential, kid. But there's a heap of stuff you don't know about a fight. Stylish moves. Hitting it big. There's a whole list. Feel free to hit me up if you've got a question, friendo. Who am I? There's some who call me the battle master, but I don't stop them. But I could with fighting. Anywho, I got a great life traveling, training. Uh, some third thing. If you see me around, give me a holler. Hey, kiddo, you need something from the old battle master? Secrets of battle? What do you want to know? Oh. These aren't secrets. Hitting bingo? Did you know that when you hit 
an action command, the symbol appears at the top right of the screen. If you get a couple of matching symbols and then a third action command, you might hit a big. Wait, what? I haven't seen that yet. Guess, no, we're good. I do have the more powerful hammer. I think I need an even more powerful hammer. You weren't here before. My name is Dazzle and I collect star pieces. The more I collect, the happier I am. So guy, if you have any star pieces, I'll trade you my badges for them. Yay! Change the sound of Mario's attacks to sound weedy. Never succumb to a first strike. Pretty lucky during battle, enemies will sometimes miss. Item hog. I should probably save these. Like, I think this one is a good one to get. Not yet. Wait, do I have three? If I have three, I'll buy it. Hang on. Two. I have two. Find one more, that's what I'm gonna get. I keep pressing the wrong button. You know what I'm doing? I'm pressing Xbox button. I know the irony, like, given I was playing Yakuza 6 lately, and I've been using the Xbox controller, and now I'm, I'm pressing Xbox commands like an idiot. <laughs> So when it told me to press X there, or, or Y, I was pressing X, because that's what it is on the Xbox controller. Loop, loop, ah, oh, that hurts! Bloop, 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 bloop. Who just up and attacks and whacks someone's tootsies like that? Bloop, bloop, bloop. Somebody with serious moxie. That's who. Bloop, 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 bloop. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache guy. Bloop, 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 bloop. He's in a world of hurt. Bloop, 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 bloop. I'll give him the taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. Okay. Wow. You are going to um, analyze him. That's a blooper and a really humongous one too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S. -S, gross. Max HP is 12, attack is 1, defense is 0. It attacks with tentacles and ink. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down. And that's when it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles have 3 HP. Now relax and make seafood out of that slimy, nasty blooper. Oh, there, the roulette thing, I see it. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Hey, mustache. Bloop, 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 bloop. You're thinking I taste good, aren't you? Admit it. Bloop, 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 bloop. Yeah, you want a snack on these tentacles, don't you? You're darn blooping. Blue, ha! Bloop. 
Wait, how does she block? Oh, there we go. I got it. Okay, got it. Yeah. <laughs> I love how the little Goombas are turning up in the audience. They're like, hey, there's a shit going on here. Oops. Hey, I lined up two stars. Okay, I see. Bingo! First try. Let's go. Back. Tentacles. Yeah. Hey, Star, how's it going? Oops, wrong button. Doesn't matter. Okay, okay, how's my night? Ah, uh, good so far. Yeah, this is a remake of a GameCube game. One that is highly regarded, but I've never actually played before. Look, bloop. start. Well, here we are, the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo, here we go, Mario. The start of our adventure. This is completely awesome. Definitely saving it. It looks so nice. Wow, what was that? I've never seen anything that humongous before. It kind of looks scary, too. It definitely flew into that castle back there, right? Let's get going in case it comes back. Here we go. Again. It's got an indent as if you could put something in there. Wish I knew what this shape was supposed to be. It's a moon. Moon and star. Could be a croissant. You never know. Oh, 
Oh, damn it, I didn't get the hammer in. See, I can't head bonk. Because it'll, it'll hurt her. But what do I do? Defend. Oh, that works. Except for the part where I didn't defend as Mario and try to block the attack. No, that's good. Where was that in the tutorial, huh? Close call badge. When Mario is at or below 5 HP, sometimes foes will miss. Okay. I mean, I'm not using all my BP. I'm going to be looking all over the place for star pieces. Ha! Okay, I haven't identified the flying Goomba. That's a para Goomba. Basically, it's a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up with a jump and it'll totally plummet. If it loses its wings, does it become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life? No one ever talks about this. Fair point. What if we just smash it into a million pieces? <laughs> do it, do what? Smash it into a million pieces? I mean, it'd probably be beneficial, like, one of the gameplay mechanics is as the battle heats up, more audience members turn up. The toads are out for blood, canonically. They want to see bloodshed. I get the feeling I can't reach that, unless there's like a hidden block or something. No, not that. Kaizo block. I should be able to yeet my partner. I don't think there's any way to get that right now. Not without, like, a double jump or something. Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself wondering what to do, just press ZL to ask for a hint. I'm full of good ideas, you know. Visuals for this look really good. I'm just glad it's not like the the previous game. Well, not the previous release, man. There were times where I couldn't play that because just after a work day, that roulette mechanic just it really did not, did not help. 
sometimes I just wouldn't be able to figure it out in time and I just lost battles as a result. This is just... I'm not gonna say it's easy, but like, it's nice. I need to get into the background layer. Because clearly if paper falls into water, that's a bad idea. See, there we go. So there are things hidden. Oh, this game is great so far. I have, I've never played it before, so, you know, I've been looking forward to this. There we go. That's cool. I can go buy that badge. Oh, you better believe I'm going all the way to the end. The more I say this, the more I'm convinced that the new Nintendo console the buttons are going to be colored. Because why would they introduce color coding on the buttons now of all times? When most games don't do that. Petalberg. Welcome, travelers. Hmm? Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalberg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we've had visitors here. Yepity, once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism. Put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. <laughs> By the way, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called crystal stars? We're on this quest for them. It's very important. Crystal stars, you say? Hmm. Nope. Can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You may want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff. Coopers of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. A pink house, that sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. Thanks for your help. Yeah. Can't imagine why anyone would want to be pink. This good Sarah isn't in. Um, no thank you, I'm good. I will potentially vandalize your house though. In a search for secrets. Oh, Hooktail, she lives at the top of that old castle beyond this hummock in Petal Meadows. Have you heard the rumors? Some say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. I suppose the people have gone in search of it, but not a one has returned. So, what do you think? You're getting scared, huh? I am General White. I am a babom, And I have lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Oh, I thought he was... No. Okay. The river is pretty, but fallen and nibbles will get you. Nibbles? Do I want to find out who Nibbles is? Hey, keep your hands to yourself in here. Basically, everything in this room is a one-of-a-kind collectible. Why does he have so much peach stuff? That is kind of... <laughs> oh, 
Uh oh. It's okay. Uh. <laughs> Why am I like this? So he doesn't care if I smack this, but the moment it's anything that is relating to Peach. Like, I can smack this table all I want, right? It's fine. I can smack the window. But the moment it's Peach related... I don't know, man. That's a little too much Peach stuff. Who are you? Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. It is a beautiful day, isn't it? No, 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 no. Not you, monsieur de la moustache. I am speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you, mon petit show. You hear me, beautiful? Abandon this dullard and come away with me. Ew, are you kidding me? Ew, nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, bozo the chump. Oh, 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 je suis blessé. Bless I am wounded. I don't know how to do a French accent. I am shitty. Such betrayal, honesty, such a sharp tongue. I shall retreat for now. If you change your mind, come find me. What a title, sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. Okay. Omelette du fromage. Three hours later. That's about all I can do. <laughs> hey, what's up? I gotta say, I've been playing a lot of GBA games lately. Wow, kid. There's this one game that absolutely rules. It's called Fire Emblem. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks. I've never played Fire Emblem before, but I've heard good things. I'm surprised they left it as GBA. There's, there are going to be kids that play this and they're like, what's a GBA? Just think about that. <laughs> Just... Man, they will, they will uh, be well before the GBA time. Hey, Hooktail, she lives at the top of that old... Oh, yeah, right, we've got this. Shaldale. Top of the morning, tis I, Bob Olba. I'm as happy as can be. Why? Simply because I am surrounded by flowers. Shaldale. This village is very nice. Clear water, clean air, absolutely delicious. But this foul hooktail, she's made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. Boy, the mayor has been so forgetful lately. I'm actually worried since the old guy forgets my name from time to time. Well, hello there. My name is Koopy Koo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, those overalls, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're going to challenge that monstrous hook tail. Oh, if only Coops were as brave as you. Is this going to be one of these games where, like, every female character just swoons for Mario? Much like there are Zelda games where it, it gets to that point with Link. I see it, I want it. It's probably like a back door somewhere. Someone there? Who is it? Who? Who? What do you want from me? I know you're, you're thieves. Here to rob a defenseless old coop. Speakable. Go on, do what you will, but as you can barely see, there is nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends, and my antique shell too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do it without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, that's your story then. Oh, wait. 
You folks looking for crystal stars? Well, why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? We're just wasting time here. Crystal stars, you uh, you say you're hunting? Um, wait. I don't hear about those dang things again. Ah, got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. She's a this enormous ornery dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? Of course. Well, this Hooktail's brutal flyby snackings have us all on pins and needles. So, the reckless fools, I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough her up? You got it. Oh, sounds promising. Why, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward. I didn't say that. <laughs> what an unselfish man, you noble. Indeed, yep, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Murphy? Oh, yes, that's a fine name. A fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. It's Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. If you're intent on going to Hooktail's castle, find the secret pipe that is located somewhere in Paddle Meadows. I know you need the sunstone and moonstone to use that pipe. The stones are somewhere in Schwonk Fortress, just past the village. Get them first. Well then, Murphy, get going and really wallop that Hooktail monster. <laughs> Murphy. It doesn't flinch at vandalism. So how 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 to? Hang on. Secret. All right, I'm convinced there's nothing. probably some ability I need to get in there. Anyway. Some stone monsters live at Trunk Fortress up ahead, or so we fear. This gate is here to keep him out. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Um, excuse me? Uh, I beg your pardon. Wait, wait a moment, please. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? M my name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. I, I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Um, oh, just, just forget it. Never mind. Uh, ignore me. Good, goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think's going on inside that guy's shell? Probably see it. Hold on a sec. Ah, just opening the door. The air gets in here a bit. It's getting a bit warm. Such is the struggle of pre-winter. It's too cold sometimes that I have to close the door so it stays warm, and then sometimes it's too warm because it gets very warm because of the uh the computer and stuff in here hey since you're here let me ask how many people you think hooktails gobbled up all the time all time i mean i heard she recently lunched on old man skew two villages over and kibs who lives next door his father went off to battle hooktail ages ago he's been the missing person no wait that's not right i'm missing cooper ever since Where did Coops go? Or he's probably just gonna follow us eventually. He wasn't hanging around before. Aha, okay, I need to hit more of these.
Hold on. That's a Koopa Trooper. They've been around forever. Gotta respect the longevity. The shells are hard, but flip them over and the defense drops to zero. And you know how to flip them over, right? Yep, jumps and power blocks, so get in there and start stomping. I want them identified so then, you know, health is shown. But also, there's probably a thing later. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. There's probably a thing later, um... Where identifying them will probably give us something. <laughs> I love how the toes are just yelling for violence. Badge points to start off with. It's like a good value level. Put more badges. Go with utility. Oh, come on, it didn't let me... Mario, look at our audience. Tutorial, that's why. That guy's got a rock. There's no way he's gonna throw that at you. Oh, he isn't gonna throw that at you. You'll get hurt if the audience hits you with anything, and not just emotionally. Quick, stop him before he throws that rock. <laughs> okay. Nice. Later, you lousy troublemaker. From now on, press X to eject any audience members who look like they're holding things. Oh, but there might be actual fans out there with items or coins for you. Try not to chase them away. Okay, Mario. Try attacking with your hammer. Wait, what? <laughs> the Toads are like, yeah, violence! Sometimes your attacks will cause the backdrop to collapse. It can drop on us too, so watch out. All sorts of other things could happen while we're up here. So stay alert and try to come out on top. Okay, this is more intricate than I thought it would be. I thought that was going to be Coop hiding in the tree of the bush. Nope, stay away! Yeah! <laughs> I guess using the hammer sparingly is probably a good idea. bad, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> I can't remember if that mushroom was bad or not.
Doctor. Uh oh, wait, what? Identification. That's a bald cleft. Basically a rock monster with a sharp, craggy face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. <laughs> this guy is rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. Might be best to attack it with, say, a power block. Oh. Really? If you say so. Mushroom bar. Okay, I mean, I not I noticed the stage rattling. Stage is an HNS nightmare. about to make the stage fall down. Yes, I'm going to hammer everything. Hey, Colin, how's it going? Birds want more blood. Yeah. Oh. You can interact with the environment a lot. to get car fixed and it's expensive. Ugh. I bet. I'm alright. Just chilling. Finally playing this. Been looking forward to this. Things look intimidating. That's a bristle. They're totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. They're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, its spikes will pop out. So since you can't jump on it or use your hammer, you better use an item. 
to... Is this just straight up, you have to find the power block or you lose? Damn, 14. Didn't have Paper Mario growing up. Your neighbor did see together and play it. It's fun. Yeah, I haven't played this one. I've played the N64 one on Virtual Console. And the later entries, excluding um, the DS and the Wii U one. Whatever happened to the DS and Wii U, I haven't played. But, yeah, the... The N64 one was the first one I played, and then the one on Wii. I played Origami King when it came out. It's nice to be playing one that doesn't have any sort of combat gimmick. <laughs> it's just straight up classic. At 4 HP, it should be okay. I mean, the origin of this franchise is Super Mario RPG. It was like the first thing, and then, okay, I need a heal. And then after that, it was Paper Mario, and, you know, on. Portable, it was the Mario and Luigi series. But they all stem, stem from Mario RPG. She doesn't look so good. It's a fun series, it's like quirky. Temporarily gives a party member courage to boost the defense, okay. They don't say that in this game. <laughs> I can't help it. Dizzy dial temporarily makes all enemies dizzy. Okay. Five coins for what health? Okay, worth. For five coins, that's that's nothing. Pretty value. This is probably a boss. Hoo-ha-ha-ha! <laughs> You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. You must want the sun and moonstones, and if that's the case, you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stones rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. Hmm, 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 ha So what do you want to do? I'll take you on. Hmm, hmm, ha ha You're in for it now. Uh-oh, puzzle pieces. 
It's a- oh crap, it's a game show. Hey, hey, it's that time again. Welcome everyone to the 65th Trivia Quiz Off. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you'll win, but get three wrong and you'll suffer. Now, for the first question, what's hidden in Schwank Fortress? Sun and Moonstones. Sun and Moonstones, is that your real answer? Are you sure? Yes. Ah, that that's correct! That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. On to question two. What do one mushroom and one fire flower cost the shop? Ah, I didn't check the shop. I didn't check the shop! Oh, I hate quizzes like this where it's like testing the minutiae of everything. Hey! When you started the game, when they showed Mario's house in the background on the far left corner, what was the single pixel that was colored differently to the skybox? Was it A, red, B, blue? <laughs> B, green. I hate it. <laughs> I'm tilted. Um, I'm gonna say 10. Wrong. <laughs> wrong. Wrong, 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 you fools! Remember, if you get three wrong, you're going to suffer like you wouldn't believe. Ah, uh, don't let the pressure get to you. Moving on, question three. What is the name of the mayor in Petalburg? What was his name? Koopa Koop, Bertle, Moopa? I don't, I don't remember his name! What was his name? Koopa Koot? I don't think it was Bertle. I don't think it was Moopa. Because that would mean, like, they tried to name him. Group? Oh my god. Alright. Um. I need to find a friend. <laughs> I think this is just a case of me being terrible with names and also forgetting what these games. Here's the thing. I don't- Coot wouldn't make sense because then that's not his name. That's probably his nickname. Bertle, doubt it. Moopa is the same thing as like Mirren Cooper. This is probably the one that makes the most sense. So I'll go with logic. Okay, good. <laughs> logic prevails. It only gets hard from here, much harder. So prepare yourself. Not done yet, folks. Question four. Tell me now, where is the crystal star? The crystal star? Well, that's the treasure is in Rogueport. It's Hooktail Castle, right? Yeah. Okay, we're good. Arr, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets hard from here. Much harder. To repay yourself. Alright, ready for the diabolical question five. How can one get from Rogueport to Petal Meadows? The sewers. Go through a pipe. Is that your real answer? I've got to pay more attention. <laughs> that's a quiz. Right again, tell me you just didn't get the fourth answer. Can't be true. That's it, I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for your brain pain. On to question six. Which of the following characters can be found in Petalburg? Can be found. What Cooper Troopers? Can, right? Yeah. No, ah, that's that's right. I correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win. Imagine punishing the player for not needing heal items. So very angry. I can't believe I lost. 
I guess I have to let you through, stupid rolls. Hmm. I mean, I'm guessing if I was to have messed that up, he would have crushed me. This is why I upgraded badges. There we go. I don't think I can bounce these, so you know. We always have to do the flavor. That's a fuzzy. What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine. Max HP is three. Attack is one. Defense is zero. Those things suck up your HP and use it to replenish their own. Isn't that the worst? I mean, ew. Doesn't that just sound totally gross? Anyway, sounds like you need to use your guard command when they release you. Timing is pretty hard to master, so I practice up. These things really suck HP. Hammer. Oh boy, this is not good. Ah! I need to find the timing for it. But now normal hammer will work here. What? Ugh, can't get the timing. Get out of here. Okay, I tried it earlier that time, didn't work. There is going to be a whole lot of this, isn't it? What? I have it! I'm gonna try it, but I don't think head bonking will work. I know it did. Never mind. I just figured because they were kind of spiky that it wouldn't allow. Well, that changes things. Stone. <laughs> oh, of course! What? I thought I could just get in there and grab it and... Yeah, look, we're saving time. I 
I feel like that was worthwhile doing. I noticed something. I'm not sure if... Okay. I bet this is going to be a thing, but... The controller is vibrating as I'm walking through, and it almost feels like some parts are stronger. Like, haptic feedback to the point where, hey, there's an item hidden here. But maybe I'm wrong. the wrong way. Thanks, analog stick. Reliable Nintendo controller that certainly doesn't drift or overshoot the analog stick. asleep with that going on oh my god Good enough. Oh, I can't get the timing of this correctly. Level up anyway. Um, what the hell? Yeah. 
much, much better. I mean, here's the thing, I think this is a case of don't hoard the items. You know? Like, I bet I'll have five flowers of plenty. But I bet having four of those things is, is not pleasant. <laughs> Already replenished it. I have a bad habit in RPG games, and that's holding on to items because I think, oh, you know, I'll use them later, and then I don't end up using them ever. Saving it for a rainy day, and the rainy day never. Hey, you suspicious types, this is our place, and coming in here is rude, rude, rude. Sorry, suckers, if you want. A warm welcome. Too bad. Now I lunch on your head. <laughs> this, this valuable item hold like a dragon, never use. Yep. That's a gold fuzzy. Whoa, are those super rare? I'm serious. Wow. 10, attack 1, defense 0. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck your HP, which is nice. What? I have to wonder, though, how does this thing hide? Look at it. It's so gaudy. Multiple foes, just one, it's not gonna help. Yeah. These sound effects it's making, it's so cartoony. Seems like a perfectly normal thing. Oh no, it's normal, a lot of people do it. You have eight out, you chumps are tougher than you look. But I'm not through yet, everyone get it. What the hell? Five flowers not useful. Bella just diving into the crowd. <laughs> oh, yeah. You got me. That was totally normal. Sounds like you got an email, Mario. You should check it out. Press plus to open your email. You can also check your email under the mailbox SP in the menu. If you want. Some folks just like menus, you know. Hello, Mario. Working hard. Professor Frankly here in eForm. It's highly likely you'll receive emails like this one while you're on your journey. 
food. Check your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say than that. So I hope all goes well for you, and I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stars. Yeah, let's just do a heal. Hammer! Beats everyone for XP! <laughs> Save time, ultimately. That thing has the, uh, the shape. I don't want that affecting me. Oh, it went for the other. He'll try to win over the crowd. <laughs> okay, that's interesting. Not very useful now, but I'm sure later it will be. Those other things would be back. <laughs> I just love the sound effect of it getting smacked in the head. bounce should be grinding every RPG 
At the start, I feel the need of, oh no, I need to fight everything. I don't want to end up in a situation where, yeah, that's not good. <laughs> Finally. This thing has been getting the drop on me every time. I forgot to talk to you, wait, RDM registration. Dear Mario, thanks for registering with Rogueport Direct Mail. Your friend, Mr. Frankly, referred you to us. Our direct mail service will provide you with regular timely news updates. All right, so he signed us up for spam. That's what he did. Hey, kiddo, you need something for, oh, it's just nothing, it's fine. What? No way. Really? You defeated the monsters in that fortress? Wow, you must be tougher than you look, mister. I underestimated you. I don't know why, but Kips has been acting odd lately. What could be bothering him? Probably nothing. He's always tweaked about something. I love how my first instinct is just... Smack the house with a hammer. <laughs> Let's break everything. Boy, the mayor has been so forgetful lately. I'm actually worried. Oh, yeah. Put that. Well done, Murphy. You found the sunstone and the moonstone. Excellent work. Next, you'll need to find the secret pipe that leads to Hooktail Castle. So check a leg, Murphy. Go show that Hooktail creature who's boss. <laughs> if only this Hooktail were gone, I'm sure everyone's hearts would shine again. I'm just a simple soul, but I remain sure this is the key to restoring happiness here. Since I can't rule out the possibility of another quiz, how about we pop into the shop? There was no way. I, I mean, I guess. Wait, worm? Temporarily softens up an enemy. Okay, I'll get flower. Hello, this is your first time visiting one of our wonderful shops? Then let me give you an explore. <laughs> 
Yes, I am aware how currency works. I get it that maybe a child might play this that isn't aware of trading. But... Man. Come on. I was a child once. I played games. Never once did I need it explaining the concept of, like, buying something from a store. Not once. Um, excuse me. It's... It's Mario, right? Look, I'm... I'm I, I, see, the thing is, I, I, I've been waiting here in the hope of getting to speak with you. Ah, uh, see... I, I was wondering, uh, would you... Uh, oh, please take me with you to fight Hooktail, please! I'm begging you! Sorry about that, see, my dad. He went off to battle Hooktail long ago, but he never came back. I miss him, of, of course. I miss him badly, but this isn't just about avenging my dad. Well, no, that, that's not true. Revenge is part of it, I, I guess, a, a big part. But the truth is, I want to finish what dad started, for his sake. For everyone's sake. Oh, yeah. My, hey, man, this is embarrassing. See, everyone always says I'm a crybaby, a, a weakling. But if I could defeat Hooktail, well, I won't be those things. I'll be strong like my dad. I know it'll be dangerous, but I still want to go. Please, Mario. Door. Sure. For real? No kidding? Yes. Thank you so much. You won't regret this. Oh. Press X to send coops flying forward inside a shell. His shell can bump into things, which allows him to retrieve distant items and activate switches. Well, look who just became useful. If you hold X, you can keep him in place for a while. Mario can also move around while keeping Coops in place. Okay. Remember. I sound so thrilled. Well, ugh, I knew that this was coming. Another tutorial. It's one of these things where, okay, knowing that he has an ability, excellent, great. But then it's pretty much reiterated twice. Peeps. Oh. Oh, go golly, uh, hi, hi, Koopy, Koopy Koo, <laughs> did you ever hear that? You're part of it, Koops. I thought I heard you say that you're off to fight Hooktail. But you're joking, right? I mean, you're not exactly a powerhouse. She'll eat you up. I know, Koopy Koo, but I want to be tougher for you. No, Koops, you don't. I mean, going off to some dangerous place, it's... It's stupid. So what if you're timid and sort of a crybaby? I don't care about all that. I just want you to be you, so don't go. Sorry, uh, I made up my mind. I'll be fine. After all, I'm traveling with Mario and... Fine, ignore me! Stubborn Cooper! I'm sorry, Koopy Koo. I, I swear to you, I'll come back to you a stronger Cooper. Maybe we should take her instead. <laughs> that, I mean, if we compare the two shell shots, damn. She can hit like a truck. Well, Mario, that's that, I guess. No turning back. Hooktail Kashala waits. Oh, yeah. Can't spell Koopy Koo without KO. Is she here? Oh, she's here. Now she's calm. 
I can't shoot him in that way. I thought I could. Sh nah, never mind. Ah, oh, my dear Coops, I'm sorry, Cap, before I overreacted. If I've been thinking about your tough decision, here's what I decided. This is the first time you've ever faced your deep fears, and I'm going to support you. I won't hold you back. Good luck, sweet Coops. I love you. Mario, listen to me. You take care of my Coops. Please, you must. I wonder if his, uh, if he's always going to remain battered like this, or if, like, after we're done with this initial thing, he's going to visually change. What? Hello, Mario. Still working hard. Professor Frankly here in EPOM. Again, I do have more to say, as it turns out. Green Bell was eager to join your side. I'm sure you'll gain a bunch of additional partners as you explore the world and progress. You want to swap your partner? Hold down L. Okay. Let's do that. I don't know why that couldn't have been said instead of the two parts where it was explaining that I could fire my partner with the button X twice. It's like, it's fine to give the tutorial, but... One of those should have been, hey, you can swap any time. Oh, I see. That's a timing thing. Interesting. Yeah. Like it said, hey, you can shoot the shell twice. The third one, I guess, it's like you can still move, but I don't know. Okay, so I can't hold on to it forever. I gotta, like, react quickly. Okay. Hey, Mr. Sam. Yeah, the game's great so far. I've never played it before, so I'm enjoying it. Particularly because the battle is just normal. <laughs> it's not trying to do something fancy. Oh, yeah, I can do this now. Thank you. There has a chance to slowly restoring HP every time. That's cool. I mean, it's just like Paper Mario. It's just Paper Craft style. And because it's a remake of an older game, the combat is like uh, Paper Mario 64. Again, visually, this looks great. Sunstone. Moonstone.
Here beginneth the path to dread Hooktail Castle, weaklings retreateth. Ye who seeketh to proceed, a power of two must hitteth both switches simultaneously. Addendum, this is a challenge easy, easieth, peasieth, if you use the skill of a pedal blower Cooper. Yes. Easiest, peasiest. Very Shakespearean. You fought the OLED switch, it was easy to move all your data. Transferring from one switch to another is great unless you own Animal Crossing. <laughs> That's the only caveat, is like, for some reason, with Animal Crossing, you gotta get, like, a separate tool to do it. Wait, is there really nothing here? I don't believe it. I'm convinced. <laughs> uh, say first. Booktail Castle. Oh man, Hooktail Castle. The stories were all true. This place is terrifying. Had a hunch. So I guess I could have done that without risking my life like that, but that's okay. Um, I mean, I'll keep what I have. It's fine. I'll write this. <laughs> it's so dumb, but I love it. Hang on. I want her to identify. This is a corridor in Hooktail Castle. Can't say I'm a fan of the bone pile decor. I don't really want to have my bones end up here, Mario. How about we move on? Just making sure. I see what was supposed to happen here.
Get back down. I don't get it, like how is that bingo? <laughs> it's not bingo. Okay. Go back. Oops. Oops is probably more useful. Oh! Bingo's fun, the old ladies get mad if you win, really? Oh my god, I'm bad at this timing. There we go. They take bingo seriously. What's it matter if someone wins? <laughs> someone has to win. Man, it's really like how they say how you start off how you you end up how you start off. Like infants and old people share very very similar things. See, that's what I, I want the power bounce as well. Oh, it's three. Wow. No, I definitely need to level up badge points for sure. Okay, I just love the fact that the toads are in the crown crowd just wanting more violence. I mean, so this game predates most things except Pokemon. <laughs> it's a GameCube game. Yeah. Off the back of the N64 game. Damn it. How did I get it the first time? Without fail. I can't do the- I wish I could do the third voice today, but like, I'm- I'm tired. I will hurt- I will hurt my vocal cords if I do it. Yeah. 
I'm getting the hang of this attack. Just don't hesitate. The level up screen, nice, but man, the one that they used in Mario RPG was just so good. The dancing. Oh, but this is just to go out and back. Okay. I see. These things are going to come to life, surely. Oh. Oh, no. These bones. They remind me of my father. There's not a doubt about it. This is my father. Dad! How do you recognize your father's bones? Um, wait, what's this? My father's clutching some kind of letter, or at least his uh, bones are. So, what should I do? Should I read it? Yeah, read it. Mm -hmm. yeah, okay, I can do this. I'll, I'll read it. Ahem. I came to this castle to destroy Hooktail, but I am stuck and can go no further. So in this letter I shall note Hooktail's weakness for those who follow. The dread Hooktail cannot tolerate croaking creatures that begin with F and end in Rog. I heard that something related to Hooktail's weakness is hidden somewhere in this castle. If one is to have any hope of defeating Hooktail, one must first find whatever this thing is. One last thing, if faced with ultimate doom, the fiend will surely use any trick to save herself. Alas, I do not have the strength to continue writing. Already Miss veils my eyes. My last words to my son, Colorado, I love you, and I'm proud of who you've become. Huh? My son, Colorado, not Coops? Uh, Coops, uh, yeah, I guess this isn't my father after all. But if this isn't my father, I wonder if that pile of bones over there is my dad. <laughs> Colorado. Are we going to check every bot? No, okay. Uh. Uh-huh, hold on. There's a back entry. Now see, this one, look at this one. This one's different. I guess it might open up. He sounds like Peter Griffin. Who sounds like Peter Griffin? Guess that's a dungeon beyond us. Ick. There are bones scattered everywhere. Hmm. Mold and dust. Great. You can totally check on the stench in this place. <laughs> Clearly... Don't value your lives if you've come to this castle to disturb us. You'll go no further, and from this moment on, you'll be nothing but bones. That voice I was doing, what? Ow, watch it, pushy. What's with these numbskulls? They're shoving me around, what should we do? Oh my god.
Do I need coops? simple. It's not back to Goomb. Uh-oh. That's a red bones, it's a little too red, I think. No fashion sense, you know? Unlike your average doll bones, even if you pound it to zero HP and it crumbles, it totally might revive like a zombie. My advice is to get rid of all the doll bones and attack the red bones. Oh, and one more thing. Once its friends start falling, it may create some more. Great. Uh-oh. Do this. I want her to identify it. That's a doll bone, sort of a skeleton thing. It was a Cooper Trooper once. These creeps are bones to attack. Oh, and they build reinforcements too. Attacks that can strike multiple doll bones at once are most effective. I got slot machines. She is low health. There we go. Wait, so that didn't even open up. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> oh, I can't do multi beam. Alright, fine. Hammer? <laughs> Wait, what do you mean stylish? How is that stylish? I failed. Go. 
guess it's a hammer thing, huh? There we go. Poops is tanky. A shine sprite. Collecting these objects will help. Okay. Come here. Uh-oh. Okay, I had an item. Got rid of it. These are easy to avoid. Come back down. I bet if I use coops, I can make it like an elevator. Yeah, okay, I see. Secret. Secret. Coops. Secret. <laughs> there appears to be another door up here. Oh, hang on, purple. Same thing, but like I use purple as an elevator. I'm doing great. there's anything hidden under first. Nope. Okay, back down you go. Oh. 
Oh. Can't actually reach that. Unless I can bounce off his shell. Doesn't seem wacky. Hmm. Okay. Good. Love the pot, or I missed. I still got that. I panicked a little and blocked a little early. This badge is great. Like, it's constantly healing me. I knew it. <laughs> knew it. I was checking all of them, and the one that I didn't check ended up being. Okay. Deal with this first. Oh. Ah. Uh-oh. Gimbella Dark! She's down. Well, that's not cool. I forgot she was on my help. Of all the things, a pow block, really? Ew. She would have survived anything. Except that. I had the right idea, just wrong execution. Really? Okay, I'll well, my way through. Oh, dang! Hey, I guess it's been a long time since anyone came here. A real long time. Ah, uh, you heard me. Wow. Wait a sec. If you can hear my voice, you must be some legendary hero or something. Or not. To be honest, I'm sure anyone with ears can hear me. But it sure is fun zinging people with that whole legendary hero bit. 
Hey, but seriously, folks, I was wondering if you could uh, let me out of this chest. I've been locked in here for so long, I'm starting to cramp up like you would not believe. All you have to do is find the key and let me out. Easy. Huh? What do you mean? You think you'll be cursed if you open the box? Ridiculous. Who would do that, really? Wait. In a box and curse, folks? A real slime ball, that's who. But I'm not a real slime ball and I would do no such thing. But that should be obvious. Look, if you help me out, maybe I'll help you out. You know, a little I scratch your back, you scratch mine, except in reverse order. Of course, you don't have to if you really don't want to. Finding this key is like this hard. This is hard. I can read. Oh, ooh, that 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 was bad. Suddenly trap activates. Um, Mario, look at that. Oh, I don't like the look of this. Come on, run. Plenty of time. Hey there, boy, am I so glad you found that key. Unbelievable! Hey, <laughs> fools! Why? Only the most idiotic pudding brain dolt would fall for a scheme like that. The castle's traps prevent anyone who's entered this place from ever leaving it. No matter which path you take, you're fated to waste away to a slow, painful end. But wait, there's more to this great deal. I'll throw in a free curse, no charge. Googly, googly boot! Hey, <laughs> now you're cursed, doofus. And it serves you right. This curse is more cursedly curseworthy than any curse that's ever cursed you. For this curse makes you like a piece of paper when you press and hold ZR. Hey, <laughs> what a curse. Who curses like me? No one. Now I shall show you how frightful a curse it is. Press and hold it now. Oh, there you go. Hey, <laughs> just look at yourself. How embarrassing for you. You'll be all papery thin while you press that R. You'll try to jump or move and you'll probably just wobble there. Do you understand what this curse means for you? Then farewell, you dumbbells. Hey! <laughs> I mean, this is, this is like a, you know, fool me twice now. Also notice the crack in the wall. Does hammer work? Not strong enough. What about shell? Nope. Not strong enough. Alright. I'm sure we'll get something. Just keep it in mind. The player needs a rich experience where they get to experience the environment multiple times. At least it's quiet. Alright, let's 
the other key. I make a huge mistake I gotta remember like even though this is a modern game I need to be saving <laughs> in case I come across something where there is doom and um, I die you know I would hate to repeat this again I learned my lesson from Chrono Trigger Well, this is still not doable. Does that heal whole party? Yeah, okay, cool. Just checking. Again, visuals are great. The ripping of paper to make something. Okay. Now what? That wasn't very useful, was it? The only thing I can think of is like maybe this affects it. Let's see. I mean, I do notice the windows are open, but I didn't try to jump out. jump on the shell, right? Yeah, you can't. Window! There we go. Right. How's it going? Assuming I pronounced it correctly. Sorry if I butchered it. Why is it the ones that I don't check are the ones that come to life? Oh, wait, I can't fire it that way. Um... See, this is where the midnight brain... It's not quite midnight, but, you know, we're approaching that point. <laughs> brain is... I think I overcomplicated it. Oh, okay. 
Hold on. Come on. Will I be facing the boss tonight? Uh, yeah, I think so. I want to get to the end of this area at the very least. It's not that I'm going to stop playing because it's late. It's just, understandably, I might overcomplicate things or miss things or not read things correctly. Doing the old man voice kind of tired me out a little too. <laughs> okay, come on, man. Sounding closer to the edge. There. I should be okay. Like I might struggle, but I will get there in the end. I have a habit of hitting my head against the brick wall. Now. Okay, hold on. What if I'm overcomplicating this again? first. I do not want to get hit by that sheep. Yeah, this is my first time playing this, but I have been looking forward to it for a while. I've always wanted to play this game, but I never had a GameCube, and I did get the game for GameCube, and then they announced the remake, so. Timing. Dad, what do you mean? Oh, yeah, no, I, I can't get it that way. This is going to be one of these things that I hate the answer for, isn't it? But my inner child is screaming that I need to get that. It doesn't... Oh, maybe... No, I'm off center. Okay, I need to position myself in the middle. Dead middle. Close to the edge as possible. Yep, I am the dumb. So yeah, let's just get to the end of the section before I embarrass myself a little more. got in the hang of that. My timing, it's working.
doomster you. Ha oh ha my, who is this handsome piece of cheese? I, I, I said this before, like, is everyone just going to hit on Mario? <laughs> I can't believe there are other thieves here besides me. How very strange. Hey, who are you? Me? Why, well, um, Ms. Mouse, the globe-trotting thief. Have you heard of me, sweetie? I heard there were rare and valuable badges here in this castle. That's why I'm here. The real question is, why are people like you roaming in such a rundown place? Ah, uh, well, you see, we're here to be Hooktail and get the, um, Crystal Star. So, don't think we'll let you get the Crystal Star first, no matter how cute you are. Crystal Star, you say? Hmm, hmm, hmm. I didn't know a thing like that was hidden in this castle. Sounds intriguing. Perhaps I just heard something you didn't want me hearing? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Done! Oh, but that's okay. I mean, you were looking for this Crystal Star first. And I already found the badge I was after, so I'll let you get your Crystal Star. Uh, hey, what's that supposed to mean? Really? <laughs> it means I must say bye-bye for now, Mr. Cutie. I know, it's sad. We just met and it's already time to say farewell, alas. Oh my, you're so bold. Oh wait, wrong voice. Oh my, you're so bold. Is that legal? Oh, I almost forgot I have a little secret to share with you. Somewhere in this castle is a badge that will help you best hooktail. Or so I've heard. I don't know what kind of badge it is. Maybe you found it already. Maybe not. If you're going to fight hooktail, I'd recommend finding that badge first. Well, take care, Mr. Handsome Mustache Man. Let's get together again real soon. I wonder what her story is. I bet it's an interesting one. Full of romance. Did I play the original? I did not. I did not own a GameCube. I do, however, have a copy of the original that I was planning to play, and then they announced this game. <laughs> so, I mean, maybe one day I'll go back and see the original. So she didn't loot the rest of the box. I guess she just wanted the badge, right? I was pretty excited when they announced it. Because I hadn't played Mario RPG as well, and they released that as well, so I'm getting to play both of these games. I'm just happy that I'm playing this, <laughs> and there's no... There's no gimmick like the roulette thing that was in the Origami King. It was a good game, but when I was playing it late at night, man, sometimes I just could not, for the life of me, get the roulette puzzles of the... What were they? This... Not roulette. That's not the word. The discs. The rotating disc puzzles. The more monster you fight, the better I'll have in the long run. Oh, I, I assumed that. I assumed that. <laughs> the older the game, the more likely it has these rules where you must grind. I've been I've been fighting everything, so should be okay. But good to know. I think older games have ruined me as a person somewhat. It's like, when it pays off, it's great, because it's like, ha-ha, all that grinding. Yep, did it for a good reason. Yeah. 
But then when it doesn't, it just looks like I'm overcomplicating it. <laughs> you can go either way these days. Oh, all the Zelda games ruined me as well, because I just look for secrets everywhere where there's usually none. Oh, come on. When you got to the final boss, it took you ages to beat. Not even 100% sure if you ever did beat it. Some of those later bosses are hard. Good. No, I'm looking forward to it. You can, um... You can see what that says about me as a person. What's that? Suffering? Good. <laughs> Sign me up. I should have jumped on it. Oh well. No, jump, jump, jump. No, that's uh, damn it, it's a fan. Oh no. <laughs> Whoops. Uh oh. I just saw the button and I just popped it. Oh man, I feel terrible. Just imagine someone turns up with a flower. Hey, I got this for you. Go away! I think they had tears in their eyes as well. Oh, no. I suppose I got what I deserved. <sighs> allergies? Yeah, allergies. That's it. Oh, wait. I woke up. All right, good. Well, at least I know what it looks like now. So seeing this, I'm definitely convinced that whatever Nintendo's next console is, they're going to color the buttons, like, in these colors. happened yet. <laughs> Feel bad. Wrong way. Too low. Too low. <laughs> Whoops. 
Oops. Hey, foolish Fuji. Thank you for the raid. How's it going? Oh, talk about doing this at an embarrassing moment. <laughs> Butchering the flight. Oh, wait, there's a Chris. The star shard thing over there. Hang on. <laughs> Come from a raid down under. Oh, that's great. Ozzy, I assume. Safe assumption. Uh, what were you up to, uh, tonight? Oh. <laughs> playing Paper Mario 2, first time playing it. Nice. Same here. How are you finding it so far? I'm really enjoying it. I was just saying before that it was nice to play a game that doesn't have the combat that the last one did. See, I overcomplicated it. Really like it so far? Yeah. Cool. There we go. There we go. Was that so hard? <laughs> Alright. Oh, that's nice. How'd you do with the, uh, the quiz at the start of the game? Because I never went into the shop, <laughs> I got punished on that question. Oh, because I didn't go buy heal items, I didn't know the answer to it. But everything else was fine. It's just... Had I known it was going to be one of these kind of games where there was a test, I probably would have uh, looked around a bit more. I probably shouldn't ride this down because then there'd be no way back up. It would be a silly mistake. Oh, wait a minute. I think I know what this does. Yep. Okay. No, no, no. It was the right call. How are we for health? We're fine. You didn't play for very long, so you only got as far as chapter one. Oh. Okay, fair enough. I haven't been playing quickly either. Sorry, I just assumed. I probably should have asked how far you got. Well. <laughs> um, have an attentive eye. <laughs> That's all I can say. I'll, uh, refrain from, like, saying anything else. So how about Mario's hat, huh? Probably forget by tomorrow. Yeah, I'm kind of the same. <laughs> oh no, he can't help. Um, if I swap partners, it's not going to help anyway. I don't get the attack.
My favorite thing about this is just when you're in battle, the toads cheering for blood. Almost like a Colosseum. Okay. Fight everything. <laughs> Murderize. Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> Whoops. Oh, that was dumb. I don't have the flower points for it. Oh, damn it. I wonder if there's going to be anything dark that happens in this game. Because from. The story point of view, man. The stuff that was happening in Origami King. Jeez. <laughs> Took me aback. I mean, for a Mario game, it was pretty dark. I mean, so far, it has a really good sense of humor. I can't imagine it going dark. Oh, that happens to him too. <laughs> okay, I mean, I guess that makes sense. That's neat. I was trying to avoid that. Uh, I guess. That's fine, we're on 10 health each. Nine. Seven. for work. Fair enough. Well, thank you so much for the right. Hang out for a bit. But yeah, hope you enjoy the rest of the game as well. Have a good night. Uh, what am I going to put this in? I feel like I should... Probably do this. And health is fine, but I, I think I can cope with the health I have. We don't really have enemies that hit hard yet. And using multi attacks is probably a good thing. Hang on, I want to see if there's like a back part. No, okay. This is cool. Right. 
suspicion. I'm always looking for secrets. <laughs> Turtles first. The Coopers. Otherwise, they'll get nasty. I, did, I had no idea what that was going to be like. <laughs> I was worried. Okay, got it. Well, we're here. Dares approach me. Hmm, I didn't expect more to come to steal the treasure I protect. That was foolish, I fear. Do you really think you can beat me? Oh, wait a minute. I didn't get the thing that I was talking about. After gnawing on the bottoms of your feet, I'll saute you to crispy goodness and cobble you down head first. I didn't get the thing that um, they were referring to to make this fight easier. Which, hmm. Maybe I should have. <laughs> well, I can't flee, so I'm kind of stuck. I have made a huge mistake. <laughs> oh. Neat. The toad's like, yeah, blood. I think I think I may have messed up. I know oh my, how was I supposed to know that was gonna happen?
being a little defensive here, but let's just... Oh, come on. <laughs> really? <laughs> good, good. I mean... Temporarily boost defense, sleepy shape. Let's try it. it did not work. I'm gonna give Mario the card shelf. Good. No, this this will work. Okay. I need to swap the order. I didn't find the thing, the frog. <laughs> so you know, I forgot. I should have been more thorough in my search. No, perfect, perfect, perfect. <laughs> I got the maximum value out of that. That's exactly what we needed. I could not have gone any better. Wait, hold up a moment. I give up, please. I won't be so bad anymore. I promise. In fact, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. Uh, yeah. To prove it, I'll give you 10,000 coins. What do you say? Can you forgive me? Keep your coins. What? You must be joking. You don't need any coins. And how about a lovely, rare, extra special bad? I'll give you that. One of a kind, and it's yours for a limited island. Will you take it? Keep it, you monster. Uh, really? I suppose I could apologize letting, by letting you smell the bottoms of my feet. But I care to take it with the rich, delicate smell of my world-renowned feet. <laughs> what is this? Yes! No. Mm, you aren't a very trusting fellow, are you? It's important to be able to trust someone, you know? Uh, I guess I'd better... Oh my god! <laughs> what?! That's just not right! <laughs> now my strength has returned to me. I've had enough of this. Let's finish this gal off fast, Mario. What? The toads were dead! So, is it... That was a bait, right? Like, the, uh, there was no way I was getting a badge for it, right? 
it was it was going to be a case of just greed. Whoops. We'll never know. I mean, I can look it up. The thing is, I've played other games in this series to know better, you know? Like, it's clearly like a bait. <laughs> um, restores 10 HP when Mario or his partner falls. Should have taken the offer, kid. You should have smelt my feet. Pa pa pa! Hi hi hi! Why? There's still so much I wanted to do with my life. So many meals. But see, now that the dragon's dead, I can smell the feet all I want. I mean, what? Oh, wow, we actually pulled it off, Mario. And all we have to do is find that crystal star thing you're looking for, Mario. Oh. Ugh. Yeah, I'm out. I'm finally out. No, it, it can't be. Eh? D dad Well, if it isn't Coop, say, son. You've gotten so big since I saw you last. Well, yeah, I guess I have, but who cares, Dad? I mean, golly, what happened to you? Where have you been all this time? Well, I came here a while back to deal with Hooktail and... All was well and good, but just before my finishing blow, she used- I knew it! I was like, this dude smelled the feet, didn't he? Just before my finishing blow, she used the smell from her feet to stun me, then gobbled me up down hole. Aha. Uh -huh. I've been hiding in my shelf for the ten years since then inside Hooktail's belly. And boy, was it nasty. Yuck, I'm so finally to get out. <laughs> Honestly, Dad, everyone seems so worried about you this whole time. Oh, sorry, son, but I'm okay. That's good, right? We're together now, right? Hey, speaking of which, what are you all doing here anyway? Oh, come on, Dad, we came here to defeat Hooktail. And Mr. Mario here was looking for a gem called the Crystal Star. Crystal Star? This wouldn't be what you're talking about, would it? I took it whilst I was smelling her feet. Watch that. I found it down there in Hooktail's belly. Nice, huh? I was going to keep it as a souvenir. But if this is the thing you've been looking for, you can have it. Come now, I won't take no for an answer. You're Coop's friend, right? Please, take it. Your star power has increased to two. Mario also learned the special move Earth Tremor. Each time you get a crystal star, you learn a new special move. Cool. Yahoo! Using the magical map they received from Princess Peach, Mario and his friends uh, claimed the first crystal star. I lost track of what I was reading. With the deadly dragon Hooktail defeated, the citizens of Petalburg would rest easy once again. Poops even reunited with his long-lost father, whom he thought was dead and ended up having a foot fetish. I mean, what? And yet, despite victory in the castle, Princess Peach's whereabouts were still unknown. 
Where could she be? Yes, it seems Mario's adventure has just begun. That's neat. Oh, here we go. This dude. Oh, exalted Grotus, we've brought the Princess Peach you ordered, sir. Well, 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 my pet, isn't it about time you told us where the map is? Princess Peach, you will speak when spoken to. I'm telling you, I don't know. There's no point in trying to hide it, silly girl. We know you had it. We know this. Trust me, it's very much in your interest to be absolutely honest with us. We ex noughts are not all rainbows and lollipops, I assure you. We're quite nasty. Greatest sir, I have news. Reports at once. You know that crystal star we thought maybe Hooktail had? Well, someone nabbed it. What? What did you say? Someone else is after the crystal stars? And they defeated that Hooktail creature, you say? Speak, soldier! Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. There's more too. See, according to the report, there was a mustache dude in a red hat and blue overalls who pulled the job. Mario. Excuse me, Mario? Oh no. I see. So you know this Mario, do you? Hmm. This fool matters not at all. I know all about him before long. That I promise. We're bored of talking. Take Princess Peach back to the holding room. Yes, sir. And men take good care of Princess Peach. Understand she is not to be harmed. You got it, sir. I don't know. I was trying to do the laugh and then it just devolved into nonsense noises. Well, Lord Crump. If this Mario character has the map, then it is highly likely he'll show up where... Where we're hunting for a crystal star. Boggly Woods. We must return there immediately and hasten the search. It must not fail. Was that? Oh, yeah, sure. Roger, Grotus. Uh, and with that, pow, I'm gone. <laughs> he clipped it. Yeah. Well, that's going to end up in the out of context section at the end of the year. Wonder if sending Lord Crump there alone is wise. He is a bit out there. Hmm. x naught I summon you. You rang, dude? I, I mean, sir. You rang, sir. Grotus, dude. Grotus, sir. Grotus, sir. Shut up. Go get the three shadows over here. The, the, the three shadows, sir, but they... I don't care how you plan to end that sentence, fool. Go get them. Now. Gotcha. The Honorable Grotus has need of us, then we arrive without delay. Oh, hello. <laughs> Pray tell, did the princess tell you where the map is? It seems some poor fool named Mario now has possession of the map. This wouldn't have happened if you had kidnapped Princess Peach when you were supposed to. It wasn't my fault, truly. The town square had too many prying eyes, too many. Besides, she was joined by some old fool of an attendant. Such a fussy fungus. Worry not. All we need to do is find this Mario and steal the map. Yes? Indeed, that is your duty. Must I remind you, that map is vital to the x -North plan. I will have my men prepare all available information on this Mario. For now, hear me, Beldum. You three shadows must take care of this troublemaker. Hey, <laughs> if you not say, I Beldam shall return with what you seek. Let's go, my lovelies, Marilyn, Vivian. Come, we've got a job to do. Go. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, one of them's gonna be just like, God, talk like this. <laughs> okay. Oh dear. Here we go again. I can't believe I'm kidnapped again. Everyone must be worried sick. Again. But, hang on a moment. Where in the world am I anyway? It's so unfamiliar. I wish I could at least let Mario know that I've been caught. Oh, I'm in control. She can't jump. <laughs> Why is that? This is a case where I have to make him believe that I'm gone. No? Okay. A lovely shower. No soap scum even. I wonder if it works. Wait, really? Ah, hee hee. Wait, what? Oh, I see. I was confused there for a sec. How refreshing, I feel like a new princess. Nobody will mind if I take a quick... <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just taking a second shower. Oh dear, I'm not... I'm not clean yet. Ah, hee hee. Sometimes I like spamming things in RPG because they uh, sometimes have special text if you do an action multiple times. How refreshing. All right, never mind. Wow, someone did a thorough job on cleaning this. Looks freshly scrubbed and sparkly clean. How oddly considerate of them. It's softer than I expected, at least I'll be sleeping comfortably. Hmm, it's not opening. Hmm, what was that? Hey, how odd, the doors open by themselves. Weird, it doesn't look like anyone's around. It doesn't work. Okay. How do I keep making these doors open? Pressure plates? Hello, Princess Peach. Huh? What? Who said that? Where are you? How amusing. I am right here before your eyes. I am this laboratory's main computer. I am Tech XX. Many call me Tech. You may. Sir Grotus created me to be a perfect computer, one that is flawless in this reason. Grotus? Wait. He's that awful dome-headed thing who interrogated me, right? Sir Grotus is not awful. He is a very great person. He is marvelous. Well, I don't think so. But I doubt I'll change your mind, so I'm wondering, why did you leave me in here? An unusual program deviation occurred when I observed you just after you were brought here. My higher brain circuitry malfunctioned and nearly overheated at your image. So let's, let's have a rundown. They captured her, they put her in the room. I walked to the shower. I stepped out of the shower. I walked to the door, the door opened, and now there's a malfunction. Okay. Also, an unidentified impulse sped through my processes. These events are new to me. There is more to this phenomenon as well. I ran diagnostic programs, and the solution was, I want to know more about you. I want to observe you. 
Such a compulsion has no precedence. Cause unknown. I, the perfect computer. I broke it. Well, no, it's intended. I must diagnose this unusual situation. I will not fail. That is why I led you here. I mean, you never know. I could glitch the game somehow. It usually happens. Wait, did you just say you want to observe me? To know more about me? Could it be that you... No, impossible. It can't be. You're a computer. What has happened to me? If you know my malfunction, you must tell me of it. Oh, I, I couldn't really because... It's just too weird. Please tell me. Please. I am the world's best computer. I am perfect. There should not be anything that I do not understand. Please. Well, you know, maybe. Is it possible that while well, you're in love with me? Love. What is love? I cannot compute this. Wait, you don't know what, what, what love is? Love. How do I explain? Love tells you when you want to be with a person forever. It makes you feel happy just to see that person happy, smiling, having fun. When you love someone, you will do anything to help when that person is in trouble. Happiness. Fun. I have definitions for these words, but... My programming is insufficient. There should be nothing I cannot comprehend. I am a perfect computer. Comprehend? Love? No. Love is not something you comprehend, Tech. You feel it. Princess Peach, will you teach me to feel this thing you call love? What? You're a computer. Why would you care about love? I am perfect. There must be nothing that I cannot comprehend. Nothing. That is why you must help me understand this thing called love, please. If you have any wishes that I can grant you in exchange, I will grant them. But of course, I am unable to grant such a wish as letting you escape. I cannot believe this. You ex-jerks kidnapped me before I could even begin to enjoy my vacation. And now you call me in here and ask me to teach you the meaning of love? I should spit on your screen. You'll grant my wishes? Ha! Huh, why should I believe you? Oh yeah, that's it. Spit on my screen. I mean, uh, I understand you are angry. That emotion I comprehend, you need not teach me now. But I must learn of this thing. I must. There is no alternative. I must be a perfect computer. That is why. If you would just consider teaching me, I will grant your wishes. Do you understand me, Princess Peach? Now, tell me your wish. Are you sure? Well, okay, here goes. Can I contact someone? The sooner the better. Yes, of course you may. Use my communicator to send wireless mail to anywhere you want. If you so wish, you can use it right now. It is no trouble. Use the keyboard in front of you. Enter the recipient address and message. You mean this keyboard? All right, let me give this a shot. Okay, it's ready, Tech. Could you send it? The message has been sent. For the time being, you may return to your room. I will call you in again when I want to ask you something. Uh, okay then, good night. Good night, Princess Peach. <laughs> I like the story so far. Meanwhile, well, thank you for the follow, 47, Kathy. Oh, I can't do a Bowser voice right now. My voice is tired. I'll try. Oh, good, it did. Oh, never mind. 
Ugh, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King has arrived. Hold your applause, minions. But now that I'm here, Kami, you crusty old hag, why did you summon me? Uh, great Lord Bowser, the uh, crusty hag Kami Koopa will arrive momentarily. I'm really sorry for the inconvenience, but please wait at the rear of the room. Oh. Okay. <laughs> He kind of has a waddle. Ah, Lord Bowser. <laughs> I have just returned. I'm terribly sorry to keep you waiting, my lord. I bet you are, Kami Cooper. Now out with it. Why have you called me here? Please, your grumpiness, don't be so impatient with your poor servant. Ahem. <laughs> it's my displeasure to report that Mario, that scum, is off to a town called Rogueport. <laughs> Am I Mario's babysitter? I don't care about what he's doing. Are you going to call me every time that guy blows his nose or what? Sheesh. Yes, well, you see, my lord, apparently Mario is hunting for an amazing treasure. T treasure? Yes, Mario has gone in search of a star-shaped jewel known as the Crystal Stars. I'm researching just what they are, but there is no question of their high value. The Crystal Stars, you say? That sounds like good world-conquering tools. I want them. Mm, yes, very good. Continue researching this for me, you brainy hag, you... Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Leave it to me. By the way, Lord Bowser, do you like fried eggs? You bet I do! Do I? I love fried eggs! Love them! But what a weird question. Why do you ask? Well, during my Mario Recon, I stopped in a lovely place called Petal Meadows. I was planning on taking everyone there for a picnic, having some eggs and toast. Of course, I wouldn't think of sending out invites without asking you first, Lord Bowser. <laughs> Longhead! A picnic? Get serious! This is no time for fun! See, this is why my evil plans always derail. Because you clods always goof off! Rah! Oh! Oh, wrong voice. Oh dear, Lord Bowser, please calm down, your blood pressure! Hmm? What's that? Mumble, 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 mumble. What? Is this true? Lord Bowser, terrible news. Some fool abducted Princess Peach in Rogueport. <laughs> what? Tell me you're lying, Cammy. How? When? Where? Who'd do such a thing besides me? I'm afraid we don't have that information quite yet. The investigation's ongoing. One thing is most certainly confirmed, however. The princess has been kidnapped. Uh, under no circumstances is anyone allowed to kidnap her without my say-so. I will not stand for this. I'm going to report now. I've got to kidnap her back. Company picnics are good for morale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Bowser's a boomer. Doesn't believe in that. The work-from-home policy was rejected. Because he needs to keep an eye on the clods, you know. But your grunginess, wait up! Okay, good. I don't have to keep doing his voice. I think I... <laughs> That's all the Bowser you're gonna get from me today. Keeps my lad. Are you telling me that you're going with Mario? Um, that's right, Dad. I'm going to continue traveling with Mario. And then I'm, well, I'm going to come back a strong Cooper like you, Dad. Nicely said, young Coops. That's my boy. But always remember this. You are my son, Coops. And I am your father. Coops, my sweet. I'll be here waiting for you to prove yourself. Uh, may I just add that if anything comes up, you can always come home, Coops. Don't you ever forget that this village will always be your home. 
Okay, thank you everyone, I'm off. Sorry to keep you waiting, Mario. You know, farewells. So, where are we going? Let's head back to Rayport. Remember, Mario. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the Thousand Year Door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. And it didn't stop there. Each stone of yesterday shall shine and point to the next in line. That's what the books say. Which means if we take the crystal star we found back to the Thousand Year Door, so that means the location of the next crystal star will appear on the magic map. Exactly. Come on, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I think the save point is in the next room. Hold on. Ah, you say you big hook tail. That's incredible. Amazing. So I guess that means your adventure is finally over. What? It's only just begun. Wow, really? In that case, you better stock up on more items. I bet they'll come in handy. You know what? That's actually good advice. Oh. Also, I can do this now. I mean, that's pretty situational, that one. Huh. Hold on. I want to destroy the old man's car. Aha! <laughs> See? When in doubt, just hit everything with your hammer. We use Castlevania logic here, where you never know when a turkey is going to pop out of a wall or something. In this case, it was a leaf. Hammer everything. Rejoice, the fearful hooktail is gone, and everyone is good cheer once again. I truly hope that now people will begin to visit this village once more. See, this song has a recorder in it, but the recorder is nice and subtle. It fits the music. But I think back to, you know, Yoshi's Crafted World and the tracks that just had loud recorders. <laughs> Man. This, this is nice. It's not over the top. I'm just gonna get to the the next part, so let's let's do that. But this first stream of this is effectively like a double session, so it's been about four hours, <laughs> if I take. Hey Mario, we found a crystal star, but we didn't find any sign of Princess Peach. Where do you think she is? I hope she's okay. There's something wrong, you're um, shaking. Are you feeling all right? I'm sorry, I want to listen to this, this is great. I kind of want this ringtone. <laughs> it's awesome. If Nintendo was good at marketing, they would like let people download this as a ringtone. My dearest Mario, I send this letter in the hope that it reaches you safely. I am being held against my will in some strange place. Though I do not know where I am, I remain unharmed and in relative comfort. Those who have captured me seem to be after the map I sent to you earlier. They may be hoping to use it to find objects they call crystal stars. I do not know what they are planning, but I have a feeling it is not anything positive. They may be aware that you have the map, so please be very careful. And please, don't worry about me. Princess Peach. Wow, you got a mail from a princess. That's so cool. Anyway, sounds like she's unhurt. That's good at least. But I don't like the sound of those kidnappers looking for the crystal stars. 
We should head back to Ragport where we started and begin the search for the next crystal staff. I didn't identify the dragon either, which, you know. I imagine there would have been some lore about feet there. I need to swap partners. Back to Gumbella. I don't think it's worth grinding these ones out. They give very minimal XP, given how long a fight takes. When I get to the next area, I'll fight everything properly. How am I doing on... Okay, I have one badge point. I don't... Oh, this is like changing sound effects, yeah. Reduce the damage your partner takes by half when they have... Yeah, I mean, sure. Why not? I have new powers, so there might be more I can do in here. Oh, what have I got? <laughs> really? Hold the way back. Come on. That was embarrassing. going for the chest. Hello. Hello, welcome. I am Merly, underground. Cute as can be. A charming charmer, that is me. Lucky for you, coming here. I grant good fortune. Have no fear. Let my mystic power tell of days to come. More as well. For luck sits on my spells. What do you say, Mr. Guy? Want to give it a try? Are you ready for a taste of my power? Sure. That's good, that's great. Choose your path to fate. Which path should you choose? Special path. Okay, that's fine by me. Ready? Ready for me? Okay, here we go. What? My mystic power can make you smile. In battle, you'll win with style. Even if nasty foes arrive, you'll be fine since my fortune will thrive. Okay, come again. See you soon. See you then. Goodbye. Well, that, that, that did something. <laughs> you are now immune to feet. What's that? You've already dealt with that battle? Oh, oh well. Oh. 
I appreciate that now you can do this. I feel like there's not enough time. Yeah, okay. No. That was silly. Can I stand here and not take damage? No, okay. I don't think there's enough time to get there. I'll try once. Yeah, no chance. <laughs> I need a I need a dash ability. Each of these is just going to be something that I can't do yet. There's a badge up there, but... Again, it looks like it's lacking another ability. Alright, never mind. Okay, Mario, are you ready? Hold that crystal star up. <laughs> That's like a, a Mario Pog. Is that a snow biome? Uh-oh. Well, if you've watched me play platformers enough, you should know what snow means for me. <laughs> Ooh, check it out, Mario. The location of the next crystal star has appeared. But I have no idea where that is. Okay, I guess we ought to show the map to Professor Frankly. That's my favorite, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I see, I see. Crystal clear. Yeah, great pun. Come on. Where's the next crystal star, Professor? It's in the Bogley Woods. The second crystal star is inside the great tree there. A great tree in the Bogley Woods, okay. About those woods, I think some odd creature lives there. If memory serves, there's a pipe beneath the town that leads to those woods. By the way, Professor, about Princess Peach, not long ago Mario received an email from her. It said that the people who kidnapped her are also looking for the crystal stars. Oh, and the worst part, she said that she doesn't even know where she is. 
Uh oh, if Princess Peach's kidnappers are also looking for the crystal stars, what could they hope to achieve? Could the treasure be, ugh, too many unknowns. Unfortunately, the only clues we can rely on are the crystal stars and that map. Oh, yes. Then we'll head for Boggly Woods to find the next crystal star. Let's do it. Yes, I recommend you do just that. Try to find it before the princess's captors, whatever their ultimate goal is. It can't be good. But don't be hasty. If you're low on items or health, drop by the shop and in first. I'll keep researching to learn about the crystal stars and the ancient treasure. What's in the trash? You found a scrap piece of paper in the garbage. Can about info about the fuzzy horde. It has been transferred to your title log. Oh. Why did you throw this? You didn't think to. Ouija, what are you doing now? Hey, big brother. Fancy meeting you here. What a quinky think. Eh? What am I up to? Well, bro, I'm on an adventure. I have to rescue Princess Eclair of the Waffle Kingdom. Yeah, it's a bad scene, alright. She's been kidnapped by the evil Chestnut King. If you got to know, I met with some Waffle Kingdom cabinet members the other day. It was pretty intense, bro. Wanna hear what happened? It's a long story. Well, like I said, it's a really long story, but here goes. My big brother, that's you, bro. Got a letter from Princess Peach and took off. Left behind as usual, I was cooking a snack at home when another letter arrived. We don't get so much mail, so I was thinking, huh? This is what the letter said. Sirs, my name is Crepe. I am a cabinet minister in the far off Waffle Kingdom. Our land has been attacked by the Chestnut King, who took our Princess Eclair. I ask, nay, beg for your assistance. The Waffle Kingdom needs your skills. I humbly request your prompt response, sirs. Sincerely, Crepe. Well, I don't remember it exactly, but I think it went something like that. Miss Mario, that's you, bro, gone. It fell to me to answer this plea. Hesitating only a teensy bit, I headed to the Waffle Kingdom to investigate. Oh no, first I wrote a note to myself about what I was cooking, then I left. Once I reached the Waffle Kingdom, I met Minister Crepe who filled me in. The Chestnut King had kidnapped Princess Eclair and vanished. Apparently, though, some article said a marvelous campus would locate her. This marvelous campus had been broken into seven parts by an ancient curse. And those parts had been scattered across the land. Can you believe it, bro? Each part of the marvelous campus was said to point to the next. And since one of the parts was embedded in the tiara worn by the princess, I surmised that once I collected all the parts, I'd find her smart, huh? The minister gave me the campus face of in Waffler Fables. When it activated, the entire thing lit right up, indicating deep south. It was pointing toward a Rumble Bump Volcano on the Pudding Continent. So yeah, here I am, sailing out of Elkpog to Rumble Bump Volcano. It's probably going to be pretty dangerous, but I gotta rescue that princess. Wanna hear about something else? No. If you want to hear what I've been up to, just come find me, okay? I'll be around. I don't know what that voice was, but you know, that's... Oh. I see. I have found the back streets. Do we have field days in school? Yeah. We don't call them field days, they're just called excursions. Hey, <laughs> I'm pulling another card trick today and I'm making tons of loot. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Then tell me, then tell anyone you saw me here, I'll bop you. <laughs> hey, my name's Darkly. I like dim places, and now I'm done talking. Poor Luigi, can't get to break. Mario falls asleep to his stories. Okay. Well, 
this is going to be the stopping point. For now. It's been four and a half hours. <laughs> I'm good. Reading is getting tough as it gets closer to midnight. So, we'll continue this tomorrow. Uh, but yeah, thanks for tuning in. And hope you enjoyed. Or if you're watching this later as a VOD, hope you enjoyed as well. Um, if you are watching this later on YouTube and you want to support the channel over there, you can do things like click the like button, subscribe. Or in the meantime, you can watch me play other things as well by clicking those videos that pop up. Any of that stuff helps the channel out a lot. So thanks to those that do that and check out some of the other content. It really means a lot.